classroom friends in today's class we're going to see about earth is our home earth is the third planet in the solar system land water and air are all present on earth together they make life possible on earth thus earth is composed of land water and air when we see earth from the outer space the areas that appear in green brown and yellow or the land and the areas that appear in blue or the water bodies which means the ocean seas and so on air is however invisible and cannot be seen but it is present all around us land means lithosphere water means hydrosphere air means atmosphere and the life on earth means a biosphere now we are going to see about the sphere lithosphere which means land one fourth of earth surface is covered by land the land beneath the feet and the layers of rocks below are all a part of the lithosphere the flat land hills mountains that we see around us and the layers of rocks below are all a part of the lithosphere the ocean floor is also a part of the lithosphere now we are going to see about earth land masses Earth is covered with large continuous areas of land which which is called the land masses. Now we are going to see about the continents. Earth has la large seven, seven major land masses on earth which is called the continents. They are Asia, Africa, Europe, North America, South America, Antarctica, Antarctica and Australia. Now we are going to see about the continent Africa. Now, Africa is the second largest continent on Earth. Nile, the longest river, flows through Africa. The okapi, which means the unique animal, is seen only in Africa. The names of a few countries in Africa are Egypt, Zimbabwe, Tanzania, Madagascar, and South Africa. Now, we are going to see about the continent Antarctica. Antarctica is the coldest, windiest, and the driest of all continents. It is covered with ice and snow throughout the year. Penguins and seals, which can withstand these extreme cold conditions, can only exist here. And there are no countries in the continent of Antarctica. Now we are going to see about the continent Asia. The Asia is the first largest continent on Earth. Peoples belonging to different cultures live here. The names of a few countries in Asia are. Uh, as Israel, India, China, and Thailand, the largest land animal, which means the elephant, is commonly seen in Asia. Elephants are also seen in the Africa, but they look different from the Asian elephants. Now we are going to see about the Australia. The Australia is the smallest continent and also a country by itself. It is also called the Down Under because it is located on the lower half of Earth. The kangaroo and the koala bear are seen commonly seen in Australia. Now we are going to see about the continent Europe. The Europe is the second smallest continent on Earth. The Vatican City, which means the smallest city uh, country in the world, is located in the Europe. The Russia is shared by both Asia and Europe. The names of a few countries in Europe are United Kingdom, Belgium, Italy, France, and Denmark. Now we are going to see about the continent North America. The North America is the third largest continent on Earth. The names of a few countries in North America are USA, Canada, Mexico, and Cuba. English, Spanish, and French are the most spoken major major languages spoken by the people in North America. Now we are going to see about the continent South America. The South America is the fourth largest continent on Earth. The world's second longest river, which means the Amazon, flows through the South America. The names of a few countries in South America are Argentina, Brazil, and Peru. The green anaconda, which means the biggest snake in the world, is in South America. So now we are going to see about the sphere known as the hydrosphere, which means water. The three fourth of Earth's surface is covered by water. The water bodies may include as oceans, seas, rivers, 
lakes and ponds. The oceans are the largest two water bodies on earth. They may be as Arctic Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Pacific Ocean, Indian Ocean and Southern Ocean. Now we are going to see about the Atlantic Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean is the second largest ocean on earth and it is also known as the saltiest ocean. Now we are going to see about the Arctic Ocean. The Arctic Ocean is covered with ice and snow throughout the year. This is because the, this region is mostly uh, very cold. Now we are going to see about the Indian Ocean. The Indian Ocean is third lar the third largest ocean on earth. It is also known as the warmest ocean and is named after India. Now we are going to see about the Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean is the first largest ocean on earth. It covers about 46% of land making it larger than more all the earth's land uh, area combined. And now we are going to see about the Southern Ocean. The Southern Ocean as the name indicates is located on the lower half of earth. It merges with the Atlantic Ocean, Pacific Ocean and the Indian Ocean. And the hydrosphere does not consist of just ocean but water in any form such as snow, ice and water vapor. The rainwater and the groundwater which is held in the soil and within the pores of rock form also forms the part of the hydrosphere. Now we are going to see about the important sphere which is the atmosphere and it's all around us. It surrounds earth like a blanket. This blanket of earth is called the atmosphere. The air, is, uh, com uh, cons uh, the air con uh, contains nitrogen, carbon dioxide and oxygen. The atmosphere is just important as the lithosphere and uh, hydrosphere for life on earth. It also protects our earth from getting too hot or too cold. Now we are going to see about the biosphere. From the massive blue whale to the giant oak trees to the tiny ants to the slender grass and us humans, earth is home to all living things. Along with land, water and air, living things form an important form or, or, or important part of earth. These living things and the places that we live on form the biosphere. Since living things can be found on uh, land, water and air. And uh, the lithosphere provides uh, some soil for the living things to live on. And the hydrosphere provides water for uh, water. And the air provides, uh, and the atmosphere provides air to breathe in. So they, uh, the, the three spheres, which means atmosphere, lithosphere, and the hydrosphere, are all more important for the biosphere to exist. So today, when today we saw about uh, about the earth, what is Earth and the spheres and the continents and and we see about about uh, what uh, does uh, what are the spheres and the uh, water bodies and we see uh, the definition of the spheres and we see about the oceans. Thank you, friends. Bye. Hope you like it.